Welcome to my channel friends. This is my first video and I am going to discuss about very important and interesting topic that is research. I am sure that this will be helpful to you and enhance your knowledge. In this video, I will discuss about origin, definition, characteristics and objectives of research. So let's get started. Before going to the definition, we will see why we do research. Whether to get degree? No. John W. Best has given the answer in two parts. First is, in long educational career of teaching, one must be well aware of the changes and improvement in the field. If we know research, definitely that would be helpful to judge the quality of the research and possibility of generalizing it to our own setting. And the second one is, teacher and other educational professionals continuously need to examine what they are doing and they may need to compare their practices with different methods used by others in similar settings and research is a right technique to do this. You can conduct the action research to determine if a procedure is working for you or you need to try something new. Friends, now we will see the history of research, that means when research started. In the olden days, only priests were considered to be the main source of knowledge. For centuries, a rigid traditions and dogmas were in practice and no search for truth. But gradually, people began to see the orderliness in the universe, uncertain cause-effect relationship, and they discovered that under certain condition, Events could be practiced with reasonable accuracy, but these explanations were often rejected if they seemed to conflict with the dogmas of religion. Curious persons who raised questions were often punished and even put to death. But people continued their observation, which were largely unsystematic and limited by the lack of an objective method. Prejudices influences both the observation and the conclusion. Then the era of logic began and people started thinking systematically. The first systematic approach to reasoning attributed to Aristotle and Greeks. For centuries later, Francis Bacon advocated direct observation of phenomena, arriving at conclusion or generalizations through the evidence of many individuals' observations, and the same thing he expressed in his book Novum Organum in 1620. In this way, the people started conducting research. Now we will see the etymology of the word research. The word research derives from the French researcher, from researcher, to search closely where shersha means to search. Its literal meaning is to investigate thoroughly. Now friends, we will see the different definitions of research. Research is a scientific and systematic search for pertinent information. Scientific means anybody can test. And systematic means each step of research leads to next step. For example, without defining the problem, Findings cannot be suggested and without collection of data, data cannot be analyzed. We will discuss how systematic research is when we discuss the steps of research. The next definition is research discover new things or concepts and it also contribute to existing knowledge. For example, different kinds of items or things like vehicles, mobile, TV, etc. are discovered through systematic research. Without research on computer, multiple use of computers could not have been known. The next definition is research is the search for knowledge through objective and systematic method of finding solution to a problem. This means many students are found hesitant to study and scared of the subject like mathematics. Thus they fail. The student fail in mathematics it is a problem to the teacher so he can find out the causes and suggest the remedies through research 
and lastly we will see the defini dictionary definition of the research according to dictionary definition research is a scientific investigation or inquiry especially through search for new facts in any branch of knowledge so these all definitions will give uh, the clear picture or clear nature of the research now we will see the very important definition of research by Clifford Udi. According to him, research comprises defining and redefining problems, formulating hypotheses or suggested solutions, collecting, organizing and evaluating data, making deductions and reaching conclusions, and at last carefully testing the conclusion to determine whether they fit the formulating hypothesis. This definition itself is the whole syllabus of the research methodology. Let us analyze the definition of research by Clifford O.D. The novice in research takes up a broader research area, for example, under achievement among students, but it needs support of an expert to define what does under achievement means, whose under achievement researcher is talking about, what geographical locations are to be taken. Thus, more and more thought on the problem, review of literature and discussion with experts help in defining and redefining of the problem. Based on the various discussion with experts, the investigator comes out with some solution which may be right or wrong. This is called formulation of hypothesis. The investigator develops tool to collect data puts them in a systematic and organized manner, uses various techniques to evaluate the data. The data evaluated help us to deduce and arrive to conclusion related to research subjected to testing. Finally, the research involved carefully testing the conclusion to determine whether they fit the formulating hypothesis. Let us look into the characteristics of research. The research is systematic activity which is carried forward in a systematic way from identification of problem to testing of hypothesis. The research involves clarity with regard to the concepts, population, sample and tool etc. The research is done in a controlled way because the scope limitation and delimitations are set properly. The investigator carries forward all the steps in extremely careful manner. Thus, it is a rigorous exercise. The research is such a process which can be verified and tested by repetition by any other investigator. Hence, research is empirical. Each research gives scope for further research. So these are few important characteristics of research. Objectives of research. The objectives of research help us to understand what we are going to achieve by doing research. Like any other individual, Newton also saw apple falling to the ground. Similarly, he also observed a stone thrown upwards come to the ground. This gave him an insight as a researcher that a commonality existed in such phenomena that the objects are attracted towards the ground which is nothing but an object of research. A class consists of students of different intelligence. Some are very good at understanding and have potential to do good work can be given additional exercises and some do not understand the content who need drill and practice. A research classifies the groups based on certain characteristics meticulously, which helps in further research. A first grade child who writes continuously in the prescribed format goes on improving his handwriting. The more the practice, the better the performance Thus, research helps us to understand the cause and effect relationship of phenomena. 
friends that's it for this video if you like my video please subscribe share and comment thank you